Happy Monday morning, everybody, and welcome to the program. It's time for more Alan Wake 2. I feel like it's been a hot minute since we played Alan Wake 2. Uh, because last week we did our charity live stream uh, all week, and it was such a blast. Our, this community, this Oxhorn community, raised over $10,000 for the kids at St. Jude. You guys are amazing. It just, I, I, I'm stunned and blown away every single year we do this um, at your generosity. So thanks to each and every one of you for your contribus uh, contributions during the charity live streams last week. You should all be very proud, and uh, I can't wait to do it again next year. We're going to keep on doing it. We played a number of really interesting uh, games during our charity event. Uh, I think the, the highlight for me was Dredge, uh, which was exactly what I had hoped it would be. Uh, it was uh, interesting. The fishing element was calming and peaceful and uh, required a lot of strategy. And it had this dark um, Lovecraftian undercurrent which was fascinating. It was so great that I, I, I played it this weekend. Yeah, uh, remember how I was talking last week about you know, trying to find a new game, maybe from the, um, the, the charity event to uh, replace one of the games we're playing in our weekly schedule? Well, chat mentioned Dredge, but no, I, I beat it already. <laughs> I needed a new game to play on my own. And, uh, you know, because you got to have a game that you're just playing for yourself. And I showed that off during the charity event. I showed off Valheim, which I played on my own, and I built some stuff. And I showed off Satisfactory that I played on my own, and I built some stuff. Well, I did that with Dredge. I played Dredge on my own over the weekend, and I beat it. And then I bought the DLC, and I beat it too. Um, it's short. You know, it's, it doesn't take a long time. I think I beat the entire DLC in an hour or, or maybe an hour and a half or something like that. But it was really, uh, really a, a really fun game, and I'm surprised it didn't win Best Indie Game at the Game Awards. But then again, there were a number of other games that were uh, uh, nominated as well that I haven't played, so I suppose it's not fair for me to... It's just that Drudge was, or Dredge was just a, a really good game, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Speaking of the Game Awards, holy cow, Alan Wake 2... Walked away with how many awards? It won best um, art direction, best narrative, best uh, uh, game studio, something like that. One white wolf in the chat says, Alan Wake 2 took home three Game of the Year awards, including best narrative and best director. Plus, Sam Lake had the time of his life doing uh, Herald of Darkness Live. <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> Man, I wish I could have seen it. I, I, of all of the uh, the Game Awards to go to, I, I kind of wish I w had gone to this one. I um, I went I went to the Game Awards two years ago, and it was all right. But uh, this one sounds like it was a lot of fun. Anyway, yeah, this game just raked in the awards. This and Baldur's Gate. Holy cow, Baldur's Gate uh, just won a ton of awards. Best multiplayer? Now, is there something about Baldur's Gate that I don't understand? Because we're playing Baldur's Gate 3 right now on Wednesdays. It, it won best multiplayer game? How is Baldur's Gate 3 a multiplayer game? Is there an aspect of the gameplay that I don't understand yet? I, <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I didn't realize that it was a multiplayer game. Um, the new guy says, uh, hey Ox, thanks to you, I ended up buying Dredge and it took me around 15 years. We did the exact same thing <laughs> over the weekend. The new guy says it took me about 15 hours to finish with all the upgrades and missions, and it was a nice game. Yeah, I this I, I, it's it's an addicting game. It's with a really interesting. Did you get all of the different endings? Because depending on whether or not you talk to a number of people and find, you know, you have to visit every single island, and uh, there's somebody on an island that you have to meet that helps you unlock a, pot a potential alternative ending. I believe there are two different endings you can get. I got both of them. And um, neither of them are happy, which is 
Yeah, that's the way I love crafty and games should be. One White Wolf says also, Cyberpunk 2077 got a Game of the Year award as well. What a great redemption journey, and I hope you enjoy Phantom Liberty soon. Yeah, it was it was thrilling to see um, Cyberpunk 2077 on there after how many years? God, uh, they finally they finally got the game into a, a place where it's you know. It's worthy of it. It's worthy of the awards. It's wor worthy of the accolades. Their player base is thrilled. It's a redemption arc is what it is. But what's going to happen next time they get ready to market a new game? Makes me worried. That's the way it always is, though. I'm just really glad that Cyberpunk 2077 is in a good, playable state and that their community and fan base is, you know, happy and growing. Uh, Phantom Liberty, de definitely. Definitely. I definitely need to tackle Phantom Liberty soon. Kenneth Davis says it's multiplayer. Yeah, I, I realize that. I, I just don't know how. I don't know how Baldur's Gate 3 is multiplayer. Um, Elliot says my wife and I are playing Baldur's Gate 3 together. Couch co-op. It's amazing. Oh, there's a couch co-op mode. Wait, no. Couch co-op. You don't. If you're both sitting on the same co couch, you don't need. It's, well, I guess, but that's not a, that's not why it's a multiplayer game. We'll have to figure that out later. But for right now, we're playing Alan Wake Two. One of the things they did announce at the Game Awards is that Alan Wake Two will soon have a an NG plus uh, aspect to it. So once you beat the game, in a similar. F this is becoming a trend, I think. So many games are getting into NG plus mode, a new game plus. Um, I don't think I like the, the dire that direction uh, um, that that games are going in with the new, new NG plus. I talked a lot about this with Starfield. I want to play the game and I want to enjoy the story. I want to play through your entire game. I want to find all the collectibles, find all of the characters and the locations, get all of the weapons, explore all the areas, read all the lore, and complete the game. That's what I want to do when I play your game. I don't want to get all the way to the end only to hear, hey, congratulations for beating the game. But to really understand the story, you need to go all the way back to the beginning and start over. Then you'll unlock the true secret to the story of this, of this universe. I don't like that. And I hope this doesn't become a thing in games. Um, I realize that it's already a thing in games, but I hope I hope people get tired of it soon and that it kind of goes away. Because I don't like I don't like that at all. I didn't like it in Starfield, and I really hope that's not the way it's gonna be for Alan Wake 2. I wanna finish the game and understand the story. I don't want there to be a secret bit about the story that I just didn't get to yet because I need to start over and go through the game again. So, crossing my fingers that that's not going to be the case. Rachel says, the other person takes the place of a companion. Oh, it's that other character that we created at the beginning of Baldur's Gate 3? Nothing much has happened with that, right? How long have we been playing Baldur's Gate? Months. It feels like months. We're still in Act One, and that uh, that companion character that we designed during the character creation mode, we haven't stumbled upon her yet. All right, she appeared in one vision, right? Still no idea what that's all about. God, that game. I mean, clearly it's a good game. It ranked up a ton of awards, but it's just taking forever to get to the point. No Name says, since I've been missing Thursdays recently, I have to get one of these in. How do you catch a bra with a booby trap? Coffee, thank you. No Name, I need caffeine. Nordic Horse King on Twitch says, uh, Ox... The title still says Fallout 76. Uh, you're right. Thank you very much, Nordic Horse King. I forgot to change that on Twitch. Let me do that really quickly.
And there we go. All done. Odd X on Twitch says Baldur's Gate 3 has the option to have friends instead of the companions. It's fun, but to be honest, the Game Awards nominations for multiplayer were pretty odd. It seems odd to me. Well, I, I didn't even realize that was a feature of Baldur's Gate 3. That's how little uh, multiplayer is important to the game. Compared to games like Diablo 4, which are all about multiplayer... I mean, I wouldn't say Diablo 4 was a great game. I don't know if it necessarily uh, deserved to even be nominated. But clearly, it's it's more of a multiplayer game. If, if it were to be nominated for any category, it would have been multi a best multiplayer game. And in terms of it being a multiplayer game, it kind of fits better than Baldur's Gate 3. Not that I'm... Comp I, like, Baldur's Gate 3 deserved all of the awards that it won. It was a... It, it's a... A groundbreaking game that I think is going to change the way developers approach single-player RPGs for the foreseeable future. Keep emphasis on the single-player part of the RPGs. <laughs> That's where it really shines. At any rate, it's good to have you all here. It's time to dive back in to Alan Wake 2. All right. Right. We were in the hotel trying to solve everything about the hotel, and we still have a couple of uh, scenes to place. Whoa. 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 What was that? Initiation draft two. Oh, I didn't even realize you could do that. Uh, okay, so this is... Dra draft one. Oh, that's... Okay, so that's the previous segment. And this is the segment we're on now. Uh, we were trying to do Haunted, the Pre-Show Ritual, and the Devil for every single one. And it looks like the only one... Ha have, we, have we done the entrance hall yet? Did we do Pre-Show Ritual and Haunted for these as well? I think we might have. Okay, let's see if our goals have updated. Follow the Devil's Trail. That was uh, up the staircase. Oh, that's right. We needed to go to room 666. Okay. I remember now. It's been a couple weeks. Davis Available says, What do you think about the Alan Wake 2 awards deserved? Absolutely. I mean, Alan Wake 2 has just been uh, amazing. And for all of the categories that it was nominated, uh, Best Art Direction, it's a beautiful game. It, it's it's, a, it's an ugly, horrible, bloody game, but it's done in such a beautiful way that I absolutely love it. Best Narration, it's one of the best stories I've played all year. So, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think it deserved every nomination that it got, and uh, it deserved to win. The new guy says, uh, only the secret ending in Dredge. Also, be sure to read all your lore from uh, Horizon Zero Dawn before the next one to fully understand the story. Thanks, the new guy. I'll have to uh, go through all of my notes in Horizon Zero Dawn. I, th I think I've got a pretty good handle on the story, though. All right, uh, let's take a look at the map. Where are we? Before we go to room 666, which is where we need to go now, we've got... Investigation over there. Why do we have investigation tagged over there? I guess we need to find something directly beneath, behind us. 
Are we still investigating this scene? Did we not get all of the clues? Because we changed this to the devil and then it updated and said something about going to room 666. All right, well, let me uh, continue looking around here really quickly. The Cigar Captain, a member for eight months, says, Good morning, Ox, and Merry Christmas. I'm catching up on the Starfield streams as I complete the main story myself. Are you going to play NG Plus now that you know more about how it works? No, I'm not. Um, and I explained a little bit of why at the beginning of the program, that just in general, I dislike the concept of a new game plus in a, in a video game. I think the way that Starfield did it was interesting and even elegant. Uh, if there was ever a way for me to want to play a new game plus, it would be the way that Bethesda chose to do it in Starfield. I feel like it did fit within the plot of the story. They did a good job of meshing the two. But I just don't want to have to play the game again to truly get it. I, I kind of resent having to do that, right? I want to keep my main save, and this is the way that I played Fallout 4. I, I did play, I played Fallout 4 multiple, there it is, this is what I was missing. I played Fallout 4 multiple times, I made many different characters, but I've got my one main character in my main game save, who's level like 200 and something, and on that character I found every bit of lore, all of the best loot, I did everything with that character, and that's kind of what I wanted to do with my Starfield game, and I don't want to have to start over and lose all my progress, especially when so much of the game is building, like colony building and ship building. You lose all of that when you do a new game plus. So I, uh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, okay, hold on a second here. We got, we froze. Okay, well, now we're back. I need your words. Drowning, I'm drowning. Well, I'm not sure what that was, but I believe that updated. Oops. I believe that updated the map so that it's no longer on investigation. What is going on? I promise I didn't make any changes to my PC. I didn't... There! Okay. Whoa. Uh, scene ballroom. Alright, there's a word of power in the ballroom that we haven't gotten yet. Second floor hallway. We tried to find this yesterday, or last time. And we couldn't find it, but there's a word of power. Is that what that is? No, it's a circle. Yeah, it's a word of power that we still haven't gotten yet. All right, so before I go to room 666, which is where I need to go for the quest, I should probably go back to the ballroom and try to find that word of power. We're probably going to have to cycle through the scenes until we find it. And then I need to go... Um... If room 666 is right there, right there. I bet you I understand. Okay. We didn't see the word of power because we have to teleport into an alternative dimension through the first floor to get to the second floor. If we try to get... No, but if we do that, we don't have access to the hallway because it's boarded up, remember? All right, well, let's go in through 104 to get to the second floor because uh, we need to go down here to the ballroom to get the word of power, and then we'll see if we can get into the hallway from there. All right, 104. What? Something's off today. I don't... I promise you I didn't make any changes to the game at all. Uh, all right, let's, let's reduce the graphics here. Let's go to graphics... Um, Oh, I didn't realize that the rendered resolution was so low. Why is the rendered resolution so low? All right, I don't want to bring that down too much. Let's uh, let's turn off motion blur and film grain. I usually turn those off anyway. Let's see if that if that's enough. Let's see if that's enough.
Wow. It's amazing what that'll do. Holy cow. Nope. I'm still getting hitching. I'm still getting hitching. That's bizarre. Let's put shadow detail to medium. Let's put shadow filtering to medium. Hopefully that'll do it. So far so good. That puts us all the way at the back of the second floor. Let's go to the ballroom and then we'll hit the hallway on our way back. I just hope that there aren't quite as many enemies in the ballroom this time, because that was intense the last time we were in. Okay, ballroom. You just never know. Sometimes they have the characteristics of the ones that attack back. And then they just fade away. Well, I wasted part of a battery on that. Oh, well. If I go into there and save, they respawn, so... Let's look for that word of power. It's probably in, it was in here, right? There it is. We got it. Word of stuff found. <laughs> word of stuff. I think this is the first time we've gotten one of those. Terrorist map marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map. Finally, yeah. Magic pocket expands Alan's inventory by one row. Battery adds a charge to Alan's flashlight. Well, let's start with tourist map just to make sure I don't walk away with uh, without getting all the loot. And there we go. Chininator says, hey, oxen friends. I have today off, so I'm day drinking. Tried my hand at making an old fashioned. I'm quite pleased with myself. It's really good. Have you had an Old Fashioned? Chinator. Uh, I have had an Old Fashioned before. Uh, they are surprisingly simple to make and really tasty. Just a little bit of simple syrup, some bitters, and your favorite scotch or whiskey. No Name says Haunted Ballroom, Haunted Hotel. Don't forget to get a drink from Lloyd. Oh, right, right, right. Shining, right? Okay. Well, look at that. There's a big old question mark here in 209 that I don't recall seeing. Maybe that's what we just unlocked with the perk. 
Um, let's get these chests because I apparently missed three. But that does make sense. The last time we were in the ballroom, it was hectic. We were trying to get out of there fast. So yeah, looks like I missed a few containers. Ah. There was another one over here, right? Was yeah, over there. And then over there. Is it in another scene? Oh, don't tell me it's in another scene. Oh, am I gonna have to switch scenes? Let's try Haunted. it is. Inventory full. Crap. As soon as I go back to the inventory, it's gonna... <laughs> ah. There we go. Alright. Uh, what? I've got a slot left? Oh, it takes up two slots, doesn't it? The other one's in another scene. Oh, something for it. Yeah, it takes up two slots, that's why. Okay, let's put... That's all flare gun ammo? Jeez, I've got a ton of flare gun ammo. Shotgun. Handgun. Flare. Batteries. Okay. All this for one freaking first aid kit. God. All right. All right, the next one's right there. And it's not the devil. It's not haunted, so it's got to be in pre-show ritual.
The scene here had changed. Well, this is new. Play schedule. No. Oh, that's right. Move to room 202. Move to room 202. And we went there already. Uh, Chininator says, I'm using Elijah Craig Rye Bourbon. Ooh, sounds delicious, Chininator. Julian Z says, Hi, Ox. Hope you're well. Just got here. We'll catch up soon. Thank you, Julian. Glad you're here. Okay, uh... Box in the corner, box in the corner. It's not here either. That's all three of the scenes though. One container, one container that I can't seem to get. I'm not gonna uh, labor over it. All right, so then the next point of interest is gonna be here in 209, right? Oh wait, no, that's just the humming guy. We already found him. All right, I think we just need to go to room six. Oh no, we need to get the elevator one. Okay, so there's our marker telling us that a word of power is nearby. There, now we can see it. Oh, come on. All right, word of war. We just had to get at the right angle. Full stop increases damage dealt by the last bullet in the revolver chamber uh, from 50 to 100%. Paint the town increases double barrel shotgun damage by 25% to 50% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. Or goes around, restores 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with the flare gun. I mean, I've got so much flare gun ammunition, I should probably start using it. Um... But I use the pistol way more often than any other weapon because it's just more ammo for it. So let's max out the revolver. And we'll go from there. Okay. That's all words of power. And every box slash container except for that one in the ballroom, which I can't seem to find... All right, let's go to room 666. We can't get into room 108 yet, right? Because that's the final scene. We need to get a clue from room 666 first. Okay. So back into room 225 to get to the first floor so we can take 
the staircase up to 666. I have enough room. Why does a first aid kit take up two slots? That's just ridiculous. Is that Audi? Or the radio? Radio. I don't have any explosives with me. But I do have the flare gun. I'll just use the flare gun. I've got so much flare gun ammo. The game feels so different with motion blur and film grain turned off. That is really bizarre how strong those two effects were. Okay, there's 108 which is still blocked to us. And that means the staircase is over here. Wake. There is ice cream. Okay. Can't go down, must go up. The odd thing is we won't be able to see the word of power up here, will we? Yeah, that's the second floor. And we looked up into there to get the word of power. But on this side of the door, room 208, it doesn't appear. Which is what confused us last time we played. We actually had to go and get it from outside instead of getting it from inside. just doesn't appear up there. Boom. Oh. Room 666. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I solved that. I don't want to turn anything else off because it's a pretty game. Okay. 
666-679, that way. 653-664, that way. Well, the map isn't working correctly. It's, it's not... It's not showing us what's down these hallways. Okay, let's just go for it. Let's go down here first, see if we can get any loot and more. Then we'll go to room 666. This peeling wallpaper is so creepy. Oh, is that it? That's it. I suppose we should have followed the trail of blood, but I wanted to see what was down the other hallway. Now we can go down this way, see if there was anything we missed. Doesn't look like it, just a big smear of blood. Gee whiz, that's a lot of blood. Okay. I feel like it has something to do with light. Presence lingering in the room. This is fine. I was about to have another killer idea. Let's talk about the murder. Okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A Grand Dame, for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long-lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene. Executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Oh no. If you're gonna make me run! No! Okay. 
Okay, a hitch at the very end there. Well, uh, something happened. Something came out of a door. Not sure what killed me there. That was really... fast. Not you again. The dark presence had come for me, drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. It must have just caught up to me uh, last time because uh, I made a few too many wrong turns the first time I tried. Okay, uh, well, damn, look at all of that flare gun ammo. It stacks to three, though. I want to leave one open. Well, I got a new scene. Great. So now I get to go back to each and every one of those and try out the new scene. Oh, we are. Oh, oh, that was interesting. We went through the front, front gate. Okay, the final scene takes place in room 108, but we unlocked a new scene, so let's try them all out. Let's first start with the entrance hall. Uh, oh wait, no. Oh, I understand. Oh, it's Climax. The scene had changed. I've had enough of that freaking gumshoe dick asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so will the fraternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. I don't think anything else has changed here, because all we got was that eclipse. But let me scrub through it really quickly, just to make sure I don't want to leave any loot behind. We need to go to 108. 
Uh, 108, that's gonna be... Oh, that's right, the end of the hall. The one place we haven't gone yet. Okay, but we need to get to the second floor so that we can place the new scene in the rehearsal room and in the ballroom. So again, we're going into 104 and through to the second floor. Okay, this is starting to just get unplayable now. I don't think it has anything to do with texture or resolution. I think it has something to do with uh, blurs and distortions and lights. Let's put volumetric lighting to medium. Global illumination to medium. Reflections, uh, it's a bummer. We'll put that on low, put that on low. Fog on medium. Scattered object density. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's a problem. Transparent surfaces, we'll put that on low. Yeah, you can definitely see a difference. That's a bummer. We need to go to 202. That's the next room down here to the left. Right. Rehearsal room, climax. change a whole lot. Wait a minute. Where does that go? Where does that go? It's to 219. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. We came through 219 to get here. Okay. So we don't need to go back. Oh, here we go. No? No? Oh. Okay, I guess the scene didn't change with that new plot board segment. So let's go to the let's go to the ballroom.
switch into the flare gun, because when we switch rooms here, anything could happen. Climax. The dirty cops would make sure none of this would be traced back to their diabolical masters hiding in the dark. Okay, so it must have been an audio line that I could have triggered in the last room in 208 that for some reason just didn't trigger when I clicked F. Because that's all that changed. But can I now access the box that's over here? That's right, there was one more box. No! Oh, I can't get that container! It's buried in stuff! Well, I've now tried every single scene and I can't find it, so... Oh well. Okay, so all we got for doing that uh, was get additional dialogue lines. So, let's head back. Oh, this is blocked now. What? So we gotta switch back? Oh. Ballroom. Guess we'll put that back on the devil. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. I'm in the scene. Oh, I guess I gotta be over here. If I don't fade them now, they're gonna haunt me through the hotel. Okay, now it's open. Greg Williams with a super chat says, Hey Ox, never mind about the request from me to check out the game I suggested before. The game I suggested was the new zombie game uh, the day before. It was so bad it has been removed from Steam, lol. I actually read about how bad it was. I didn't realize it got removed from Steam. I read that it it, it, it it got a ton of interest as soon as it came out, but that people were getting refunds in mass. It was so bad that it had, it had a two hour long tutorial section just to try and game um, Steam's uh, uh, return system. Because I think Steam had a return system where, like, if you have less than two hours of gameplay or something like that, you can get a full refund on it. And so they, they put in a two-hour tutorial section to force you to get through the first two hours before you even get to the gameplay, before you can discover that there's nothing in the game. It was a bunch of recycled assets that people bought, that the, that the developers bought on an open uh, marketplace and just dumped into the game. So, yeah. I can see why Steam would completely remove it. Okay, 108. It's 108. 
101. Gets so turned around in this freaking hotel. All right, we got a. Okay. 108. All right, here we go. Climax. The story was affecting the scene. Oh, what? Oh, trippy. Beware the drowned lady. And we find a room flooded. Oh, this is cool. Well, the entire hotel is flooded now. At least this portion of it. Adi? Was that the old gods of Asgard? <laughs> Anything in the room that I'm missing? No, it doesn't look like it. Here we go. Ooh. Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean. The, the on land, the deer. All right, that's too difficult. There we go. Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in motion. In his room he will hurt her. In hers he is caught. His story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. This is the ritual to lead you on. <laughs> This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Somehow, it was important. Oh, man. Do I gotta put my hands in there? I really don't wanna. All right, I got the flare gun. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You helped me get closer to escaping. Wake. Are we are still trapped? We have the clicker. We can feel it. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the Dark Presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write another story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. The story. You can do that. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape, somehow. 
I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. End of part! We got a little song, a little song and a dance. Big question, is it a new song or the same one we've heard before? It's the Loops Forever song, again. Well, I guess I can't, I can't expect them to, to write a completely new song for every single part. All right. But we don't need to listen to this again. That epic overlay is just so intrusive. All right, I need to get to Parliament Tower. But I also need to do Saga's storyline as well. Uh, but I'm not sure how to get back. I'd have to find Adi. I'd have to find the janitor closet. So, wait a minute. What did I find? What did I find at the bottom of the bathtub? I reach into the bathtub. I look under the corpse and then I have a vision where I'm talking with Saga. She, I, all I, all, all Alan Wake learns from that conversation is that Saga has the clicker. But he's the one who suggested that he go back to Parliament Tower and find return. So what did we do here? One White Wolf says, time to switch to Saga. And the It Loops Forever song gets slightly different after each Alan chapter, does it? Hmm. But do we sit through and listen to it in its entirety after each chapter just to pick out the differences? Maybe. The water's gone. It's no longer flooded. Is there like a puddle on the floor here? Ooh, getting some hitching. here again Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping I had to get it before scratch did is that an echo no had I chosen to pursue the cult or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose to be a demon to sort the clues based on my interpretation, to change that which I observed. It was all a play, shadows on the wall of the cave, an echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. Hello. Is that new? I think that's new.
Okay, how exactly do I get that? Am I too far away? Do I do I hop up here? Like how do I get that? Okay, I don't know why I, I can't get that. Um, maybe I'm not supposed to get it now. Jump on a dumpster, I can't. You can't jump in this game. Like, you can duck. But you can't jump. Right, well. Phil says, I think I'm liking Saga's story more than Wake's. How about you, Ox? Which story do you like more, Saga's or Wake's? I actually like Wake's story more. Uh, I enjoy Saga's story, don't get me wrong, but I just love Alan Wake as a character, this um, uh, writer who's battling his demons, this otherworldly, unexplained world that he lives in with all of these objects of power and... You must have already gotten that one, says Matthew Smith. Yeah, but it should disappear, right? But then again, this one didn't disappear, and we already got that one as well. Maybe it's just glitched. Oh, janitor's bucket. All right, this is the janitor closet. Okay, we can go back to Saga story from here. Let's do a hard save. And switch to Saga. second I can't find my phone and I need it to be close by in case I get a text um, you know about the kids school or something so let me just go and grab it really quickly uh, like 20 uh, tw 20 seconds be right back And I'm back. Found it. Okay, let's see. Where were we with her? We are back at Suomi Hall. We went to the lighthouse, but we couldn't get inside because the door was locked. But we completely explored Coffee World. We completely explored the lighthouse trailer park. We need the bolt cutters and a key for that particular door. We need the bolt cutters to get back there.
We need to take the car back to Bright Falls, and we can optionally investigate the previously flooded area. Okay, I definitely want to do that. What what was the previously flooded area? Hello, cult stash. Oh, screwdriver. Okay, we got some things to do here in town. Uh, Chad says that the previously flooded area was the trailer park. I could have sworn I explored that, but it didn't uh, cross off on my quest log, so I guess I missed something. All right, but we've got a terminal here, and it looks like we're at the bottom of an email chain. Let's start at the top. Maiden waiting failure nine months ago from Michaels to Vega. Just to update you, I haven't had any success with setting the stage yet. Even the letters from the characters themselves are no use. Do you have any tips on what I should try next? Michaels, junior assistant researcher. From Vega to Michaels, so there are no results? The propping has been proven to be effective, according to Dr. Campbell. Maybe it's something in the rhyme itself? Is it too mature? Too direct? Should we add complexity and charm to it? Try some different approaches and get back to me. Then, from Michael Stavega, all right, thanks. I'll try to add some complexity and charm. This is a really great use of my master's in applied physics. <laughs> Michael's, all right, so we found an FBC trailer here, and we got a clue, which we'll um, plot on the board later. Experiment PFNR16, codename Maiden Waiting. Prompt item L1. Dearest, when are you returning? I've been waiting for so long, I miss you. Send me a letter as soon as you can. It's lonely here and I pine. Your fair maiden. <laughs> <clears throat> Prop item two. My dear maiden, I'm out of luck and out of means. I'd love to come back home to you soon, but alas, I must gather my strength and my funds first. Don't forget about me. I'll be with you sooner than you think. Yours truly. Prop item L3. Dearest, it pains me to hear you will not be arriving, but I will keep waiting until you do. I would never forget about you. How could I? Your fair maiden. So they're trying to concoct a scene here as an experiment with the with the altered items. But what exactly is the scene they're trying to concoct? Test sites in Watery. Hey! And that goes to the clues board. Great. Location arrangements. One ranger cabin, two trailer park. One lighthouse, one downtown, one coffee world, two Watery woods. Great, that shows me exactly where they're at. I hope that marks them on the map as well. Here's one. Another rhyme. There once was a faithful girl. At home she stayed, and there she prayed for her lover to return. But he collected fair maidens just as he did their stolen riches and broken hearts. Okay. 
Fair Maiden stayed at home. Maiden. Her lover collects maidens and riches. He was abroad somewhere. Hey, there's riches. So who was her lover? A monster? Hmm. A trickster. Sure. charm. Perfect for my bracelet. Okay. Let's plot the evidence. This is the stash bo uh, boxes. We need to go to uh, nursery rhymes. Alright. Watery rhymes. Mobile home down in watery. FBC file listing test test sites in watery. All right, so that's going to be uh what are these and who made them? FBC. <sighs> no? Yeah. Okay, it goes in watery then. Fake correspondence between nursery rhyme characters. And an email exchange between FBC researchers about the nursery rhymes. Okay, that completes it. No, it doesn't. We need one more. But it's enough to tell us about it. The FPC cre created the rhymes. Research to see if nursery rhymes have power to affect the future. Weird. All right, that's it for nursery rhymes. Let's go back to cases and go to the story. For later. Okay. Uh, the charm that I just picked up is an FBC charm. Increases damage dealt while undetected by enemies. And then the lighthouse charm that I recently got increases max amount of health restored in safe havens. And then the coffee mug charm, that's, it shatters. I've currently got max health, resources found, and stagger enemies more often. Right, well, if I want to complete the optional objective, I've got to go back to the trailer park. Let's take a look at the map. Wait, no, I've got, I've got one stash. One more stash that I need to find. Over here, and now that the water has receded, perhaps I can actually get to it. It was on the, the end of this dock over here, right? Aha. Another one of those cult boxes. That car one was too easy. Here's mine. There are three batteries, B1, B2, B3, which have a combined charge of 1,600 amps. B2 has 128 amps, more than B3. Oh, for crying out loud, making me do math. B1 has two times as much as B3. How many amps does B2 have? You guys are going to get this before I do. I'm getting my calculator out. Just... Okay. A total charge of 1,600. B2 has 128 amps more than B3. B1 has two times as much as B3. How many amps does B2 have? 
Okay. Two times. <laughs> That's 128. So if we do that, minus 128. So basically, we got to figure out what B3 is. If we have, if we understand what B3 is, then we're able to put the rest together. So what times two plus 128 equals 1,600. Okay, so we, we minus that. So 1,600, 1,600 minus 128 equals 1472 divided by 2 736 Nope Okay, I did it wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. B2 has 128 amps more than B3. Oh, it's more than B3. Okay. Alt Grendel says, Ox, you're on your own. All right. I did. I, I tried to subtract 128 from 1600, and that was wrong. Because I need to subtract 128 from B3, whatever B3 is. Oh, it's how many amps does B2 have? Oh, it's not... Okay, so we got to figure out B3 and then do the math for B2. Combined, it's 1,600. <sighs> Guys, I'm a humanities major. I majored in history. I did English and writing in school. I did not do math. I realize this is basic, basic arithmetic, but listen, you're all here too, and no one has given me the answer. We've been here for what, five minutes now? So... This isn't just me. All right, hold on, hold on. We have to figure, it's how many amps does B2 have is the, is the actual question. B1 has two times as much as B3. B2 is 128 more than B3. The problem is that if that's added to that, but that's a question, then we can't subtract that. Hunter says Google says 496. Oh, is it 496? Hold on, is it 496? Let's do the math real quick. Hold on. Just make sure we understand. 496. But we still need B... We need, we need to figure out what B3 is, which we don't have. <laughs> Thank you, chat. We're going 496. Making me do math. Really. 4... Nine six. Yay! It's four nine six. Ugh. Why do I have to take a stinking math test to open a stash? What if I needed to get in fast? I can't do math in my head. Oh, man, I can so relate to this guy. I'm not Ada a stinking Lovelace. I missed dinner getting this thing open. It was a family pizza night. Oh, the poor guy. <laughs> he missed dinner. It was family pizza night. Oh, those jerks. Making me do math. All right, we got this one. We'll go to, uh, whoops, wrong one. Crap. Case board. Go to cases, and we go to cult stashes. Watery area. One more to go. The stash was barely concealed at all, just sitting on a pier. Yes, but it had the best lock. A math test. Daniel says, what if you had to suddenly do an emergency SAT, Ox? 
I know, just all over those real world situations, those emergency SATs coming out of nowhere, cops pulling you over the side of the road instead of doing like a, 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 a drug test or something. Emergency SAT, and if I don't pass it, jail time. Okay. Watery area. Lock, check. Stash, check. Sauna. We've got lock door. Can't use the screwdriver on that one. We can use... Well, no, we can't. We need the bolt cutters for that. Did we ever get the bolt cutters? We didn't, did we? Uh, we need the bolt cutters for that, too. I got everything else. I could have sworn that I went and I checked out the flooded, previously flooded area of the lighthouse. I could have sworn I did that. Or, or the, the trailer park. But I guess not. Uh, because it's not crossed off, so I'm going to go back there and try it. I mean, it's possible that I <clears throat> don't get the bolt cutters until I go back to Bryant Falls, in which case I wouldn't be able to complete this optional part until then, but you'd think that they wouldn't have an optional part that I could complete right next to the Bal Bright Falls mission if I couldn't do it now. You would, they, you, would, they would, you would think that they would give that to me only when I had an opportunity to do it. You know they put that in there purposefully just to humiliate streamers. Oh, you think you're just going to be playing this uh, horror game live on camera? No, this is a math test. Show the world your remedial grasp of elementary school education. Okay. Right, this was the previously flooded section. And we can't get here because it's locked. Must be locked from the other side. We can't use the screwdriver. We can't get to the other side because we need bolt cutters, which we don't have. Don't have bolt cutters. Can't use the screwdriver. Well, there's something here that I missed the last time I explored because otherwise they would have crossed off the optional part
Got it! Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. Okay, well I got them. I wasted a lot of ammo to do so. But I feel like I've explored this already. Also, I feel like resource allocation between the two characters is pretty poor. Alan Wake has too much stuff. He's just got tons and tons of resources. But poor Saga here. I've, I'm, I'm low on ammunition. I'm low on batteries. I'm low on healing items. I'm low on absolutely everything. Have we been here? We were here. Yeah, we did explore this. Okay, we explored this trailer. We explored this workshop. That's right, I remember there was something here. And then there was a... Uh, there was a rhyme at the end of this dock. Why didn't they cross off the optional objective if we completed it? Yeah, there was the nursery rhyme. Optional. Investigate the previously flooded area. We we did. We did. Why isn't it checked off? What have we missed? All right, where were we? Let's see. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, well, I also now know where <clears throat> the uh, enemy triggers are. The door to the trailer triggers the wolves. The dock triggers those two guys. If I can avoid going there, I avoid triggering those encounters, and I save a bunch of ammunition. So let's go someplace I haven't been yet. We got that. And we explored in here. Not get this. Regarding graphic novel idea, Miss Scoresgarn, thank you for your proposal, Starlight Symphony. Yeah, we did read this.
I remember we found the key up there. Josh Bunton says, how are you liking the game so far, Ox, besides poor resource allocation between the two characters? I, I don't like the game. It's a, it's a fun game. Um, the resource allocation is, you know, more of a me problem, I think, than a game problem. Um, there are a few glitches. Even at the very beginning. <laughs> Stop him! Okay, I went to the dock. I tried this hut. I explored here. This is where um, the charm was after I completed the FBC puzzle here. There is a cul-de-sac here. Did I explore that? I don't know if I did. Yeah, this is where the boat was. Still says optional. Okay. I think I got everything. I, I Like, I'm racking my brain, and I've, I've been to every location, and it's not being crossed off. Possibly because I don't have the bolt cutters yet. Um, so, I'm just going to go back to Bright Falls to continue Sangha's story. And once I get the bolt cutters, remind me, we'll come back. Did I leave any crossbow bolts down here? I fired a couple that missed. Doesn't look like it. Okay. And do I have anything in the shoebox? I've got one first aid kit. I've got a couple of bolts. Let's take the bolts. Because... Ammo is <laughs> just so rare. I'm completely out of shotgun ammo. And then I guess I better move this because I'm really low on health as well. Okay. Ugh. 
Okay. Plenty of bolts for my crossbow. Five rounds for my pistol. Out of shotgun ammo. Okay. Back to Bright Falls. Alan Wake. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Uh-oh. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Ah, oh, my head's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <laughs> Take it you're not a fan then, Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening, what will happen. Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. 
Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! FBI! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! <laughs> Casey! <laughs> Give Alan a gun. Hey, what are you doing? Scratch! It's close! Stay down! Wait, I need a gun! No chance. Give him a gun! Casey! Completed Alan's part first? <laughs> Should I have gotten the manuscript first before I came back here to. to Saga? Return four, no chance. <sighs> uh, uh, He's covered in blood. Look at those bloody fingerprints on his face. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Casey. What the fuck? Hold it! It's free! And I'm Alan! No, I'm not. I am. I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? One White Wolf says, I love this version I gotta of get out of here of Scratch because the one in American Nightmare was based on the public's urban legends of Alan that he was an arrogant jerk of a celebrity. The real Scratch is much more feral. He is. This is, a, And they're not showing us what Scratch looks like. I mean, except for brief flashbacks. We haven't actually seen Scratch in the flesh. In American Nightmare, Scratch was Alan, and he just would put on a, an evil face. You know, like... And, but this one, he just, he looks like a monster. Von Reck says, uh, gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Von Reck. And congratulations to Random Grey Maine, Grant Haber, Sam Timothy, Jui, uh, Gui, and Rani Shaw. Awesome. Thank you, Van Reck. Heart Grenade says, Hey Ox, listening to you play this has made me super interested in the franchise. And I am planning on uh, starting with the first one soon. Good. Uh, it's a it's a great, fun little game. I believe they recently remastered it, though I never played the remaster. I, I played the original, and um, it, it wasn't a, like this. This is much more of a horror survival game. The original Alan Wake was more of an action-adventure game with horror elements. So it doesn't quite play the same, but the story was still just as uh, interesting as this one. And American Nightmare certainly added to it as well. Control is really when we start to get many of the vibes that are carried on into this game. When um, altered world events are explained, objects of power are explained, and there's a, <clears throat> a DLC to Control that gives us foreshadowing into the events of Alan Wake 2 as well. So yeah, I would go Alan Wake 1, uh, American Nightmare. I need Nightmare. to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Control, and then Alan Wake 2. That's the order I would do it in. Which is the order they were published in. So it makes sense. I need a gun. I need a gun. Give me a gun.
But they're not going to give me a gun, because then I'm going to have two inventories for Alan Wake. It's weird, because I've got Alan Wake in the dark place. I've got Alan Wake here. I've got Saga here. And yet their playstyles are very different between the two universes. So why did all of the cultists storm this place and they got thrashed? They got absolutely torn to pieces, presumably by Scratch, a guy they like. They like Scratch. Why would Scratch kill all the cultists? I don't think it was Casey, because Casey uses a gun. He doesn't manhandle them <laughs> the way these guys have been manhandled. I need to protect myself. I got a flashlight. How nostalgic. I'm coming, Casey! As soon as I find ammo! I'm coming! I got a gun! I'm gonna help! I'm a writer, but I'm good with these things. Fifteen years, good. Oh, I hear a lot of noise. That's Casey. He was still alive. Closer, stronger than ever. off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Casey? Where are you? Casey, I'm coming! Fuck. Hang in there, Casey! Casey! Agent 
Governor Nestevez, Federal Bureau of Control. We'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. This is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. This is bullshit. Noted. <laughs> We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it! Agent? I should be... Go home. Careful, moving quick. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. Oh, the I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. End of chapter. That was fast. Different. The show was gone, it was nowhere to be seen. A diver sinking on the ways where the sun's never been. Mm. To ocean green where our shadows creep. And Bowie said I should wait in deep. An artist dying for his art to make you finally see. Is that a Okay, so that song was written from the perspective of Alan Wake while he was in the uh, Cauldron Lake, while he was in the dark space before he came out. Tor and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. Back to Tor and I'm Odin. off the case, but I can still visit family. Talk to the Andersons. Go to the Valhalla nursing home in the Bright Falls Woods. What about Casey? He was at the shack. Where's the shack? It's up here. All right, so we we pick up where Alan takes off. So the FPC has Alan. I mean, from the perspective of um, the uh, Federal Bureau of Control, of the game Control, the FPC is, um, they're not the bad guys. They're the good guys. But right now they're interfering with the FBI. Perhaps they think that the FBI isn't sophisticated to understand altered items, which is why they're doing all of this. One White Wolf says, I love all of the chapter end songs. Also, keep going with Saga for one more chapter. Okay, I'll take your advice. It's been a while since we've played Saga anyway. All right, so we've got two cults, three, four, five, bunch of cult stashes here at the Bright Falls. Um, hello. Billy's Boatyard. We've got a couple of uh, roads here in Bunker Woods that re that lead to Billy's Boatyard, but it's grayed out. Can we get there yet? Maybe we go through here and take this road there. We need to get to the Wellness Center. Is this the same place that we visited in the last game? The Wellness Center that he went to with his wife? That is, well, that his wife was trying to take Alan to at the time. Let's start with that cold stash. Alan.
Hello? Saga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing... Oh, fuck! Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Tor was about to tell me something. That was the clue? Okay. Uh, Cult of the Tree, presumably. Valhalla Nursing Home. Hmm. Who's involved? Uh... Tor and Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. What do Tor and Odin know about the clicker? What happened to Tor? I heard yelling before the call was cut off. Is Tor okay? Now, have we opened up anything else? Yeah. The cult tried to kill Alan Wake. Uh, let's see. The cult's goal? Working for slash with someone? Ilmo Koskela attacked Wake while wearing a deer mask. Why do they want to kill Wake? What's their motive? Acting on Scratch's orders? Doesn't make sense. Okay, Ilmo attacked Wake. Cult's goal, uh... Who's involved? Ilmo. I saw him with my own two eyes. No doubt Ilmo is in the cult, but what about Jaco? That's a shame. I like them both. And the story. These are still saved for later. History of the Valhalla Nursing Home, a manuscript page. One White Wolf says, I love all of the chapter end songs. Oh, I read that one already. Thank you very much, One White Wolf. Okay, let's read this one. Is there a way to get Alan to read it? The victim was one of their own. The Valhalla Nursing Home. Founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the Old Gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip-flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance lays the demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. I hope we get to see Barry again. Barry was the standout star of Alan Wake 1. He was just hilarious in every scene that he was in. I hope we get to see him again. Metalhead Madman says, what's another name for a woman's college? Metalhead Madman, that's a, a uterversity? Really? That's, it seems like an inappropriate joke, Metalhead Madman. That's, <laughs> that's so inappropriate. Thank you for that, I guess. Wow. Oh, we can switch realities there. All right. Now, 
Uh, let's go get that cult stash box right up in here. So we need to take this road to the side. There's a little um, footpath to the right. It's more than just a cult stash. Oh. More of those rhymes. No new dolls? All right. Mother, may I go outside? May I run and play? I say to you, my daughter dear, go outside and play. But only in the light of day, and only round the trees so grown. Never near the lake, my child, and never may you drown. I mean... Drown doesn't really rhyme with groan. They, they both end in O-W-N, but it's own, own. It's, it's the vowels. You gotta get the vowels right. Okay, mother, may I go and play outside? Daughter. So we're looking for a daughter playing outside. Never near the waves. So we've got to go to... Um, may you never drown. I guess the mother... is in the house. And the child goes to the waves. Nah. <laughs> no. Child goes to the trees. Makes sense. Never near the waves. Okay, we solved that one. What did we get? What did we get? We're gonna get attacked is what's gonna happen. We're gonna get attacked as soon as we move. I could do with all, without all this howling in the background. Is that where it ends? Okay, so we see a cultist marker here, which means the stash is likely up here. Somewhere. Another cult stash? <clears throat> the cult of the tree sees everything. Ammo, first aid. Okay, but we still haven't figured out this. Footprints.
They don't go this way. Oh, here we go. Lots of charms lying around here. Where to go? <laughs> That's why they don't give us a lot of ammo for her. They want us to use the crossbow. You know, the game keeps talking about regenerating health when I'm in the light, but I don't really see myself regenerating a lot of health. I've got one big first aid kit, and that's all the healing items I've got. Uh, what did I get? I got a lantern charm, adds one charge to Saga's flashlight. Okay, we got the stash up there. We went down there. We need to get the stash over here. Uh, are we going to be able to go down here? Let's find out. Follow the main trail, and then there's going to be another side trail off to the left. If we can find it. They give me this crossbow with recoverable ammunition and very little other ammunition, but the reload time is ridiculous, which is fine if you're fighting one enemy at a time, but when you've got two that you're dealing with... The problem with these, with these wolves is that they don't drop ammo.
Well, well, come on. I only got one back on him. I got two clear shots with the crossbow, but I only got one crossbow bolt back. Okay, wolves dead. Game saved. Valhalla nursing home, ranger cabin. Hey, we've got a Nancy something lunchbox over here. Another one of those lunchboxes. Just then, I suddenly slammed into something that felt like a sturdy, well-built uh, brick wall. I almost fell, but a strong arm grabbed me by the waist. I hardly knew what was happening. A voice reached through my confused, frightened haze like an outstretched hand. A gruff, manly voice. The deep, reassuring voice reassured me. <laughs> Don't you worry, miss. I've got this. I looked up just in time to see the monster barreling through the forest at us. Just then, a blast! The monster went down like an elderly person who had lost their cane. That is descriptive. <laughs> I looked up at my savior and saw a handsome face with dark hair. He wore a stylish tweed jacket and held up a smoking pistol. Looks like I got here just in time, he said. He smiled at me and my heart fluttered like a bird. I s I'll say, I thought to myself. <laughs> oh, this fan fiction is just great. Let's go spend our manuscript pages. <laughs> he fell like an elderly person who lost a cane. <laughs> okay, since we're using our crossbows so much, we've got to start specking into this. We've got 24 pages. Pull the string. Hold the fire button to draw the crossbow further for increased damage and a straighter arc. Two shots, fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. Yes, thank you. Magnetic pull, bolts lodged into enemies will attract bullets fired near them. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream. Okay. Please, not a math problem. There are 200 to- Oh, dear God. Dear, not again. There are 200 total vehicles in a factory, consisting of bicycles and cars. Each car has four wheels, and each bicycle has two wheels. There are a total of 754 wheels in the factory. How many cars are in the factory? Come on, man! Why? I didn't play this game to do math. 
All right. Want me to Google this one as well? Yes! Please, I don't want to do the math. All right, 200 total vehicles in the factory. Each car has four wheels and each bicycle has... They're both even numbers. There are a total of 754 wheels in the factory. How many cars are in the factory? What? But they're both even numbers, so... <laughs> Hunter says 177. Ah, fine. Just... One, seven. Thank you, Hunter. Captain Turtle says, technically bicycles aren't vehicles. Actually, technically they are. A vehicle is any contraption that can provide a mode of transportation. So technically, a canoe is a vehicle, right? Even though it doesn't have an engine. Vehicles don't necessarily have to have engines. They just have to move you. Okay, well, did we get any good ammunition? Uh, yeah, finally. We've got a little bit. Basavo plays says boo, Ox. I just wanted you to do some algebra. You know what? I'm not doing it. I'll tell you what. Usually in games like this, when they give you a math problem, it's easy. It's just like simple adding and subtracting or whatever. In this game, no, they're legit making, giving you some some difficult problems. Like, you have to sit and think about it for a while, and I don't have time for that. <laughs> I just don't want to. Okay, we found that. Uh, let's see if we can continue towards Billy's Boatyard. Oh. Where's the red light coming from? The sun? Is it the sunset? Must be. Oh, and we're back here. <laughs> okay. No Name says, John has 12 watermelons. What's the square root of 5,500? Or 4,567, because elephants can't fly. Yeah, that's how I feel. Really? I just got ammunition and you're giving me all these guys? Can I just avoid them? It's another flooded section. Yeah, Billy's boatyard is flooded. Okay, well, let's get up to the manor. Oh, that means I'm going to meet them along the road. Is this the bird watcher? The bird watcher's tent?
Hey, we've got another Alex KC lunchbox somewhere. It looks like it's up here. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get into them, so I didn't. But it's the thought that counts, right? Eight more manuscript fragments. Is that enough? Fourteen. I could do magnetic pull, but that's useless. So I need one more for pull the string. Okay. Got down here. Oh, we're really close to the ranger station. How did we get all the way down there? Well, we're not doing this in order, are we? <laughs> That's okay. We'll uh, get to the ranger station. If we can. So we can't get down there. And that's too far up. We can go around. Hmm. Ooh, this is putting us up way over here. Okay. I have really gone through a lot of these uh, bolts. I should start using my flares more often because I'm picking up a lot of them as well. Ranger cabin that way. But I can't get there, it's flooded. All right, so we'll, we'll do that last, I guess. is changing. What a place for a nursing home. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. 
Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. So this building looks like it was built a long time ago. And yet, they said that the nursing home was constructed after their last tour. Valhalla Nursing Home. All right, let's explore the grounds first. Can't open that. There's a gazebo back there. Pretty area. Let's go to the gazebo first. I need something to cut this. Uh, cut it? What do you mean, cut it? Oh, it's on the other side. I see. Okay, so I need the bolt cutters for that. Right. I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... <laughs> sure. They go. always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. You say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. <laughs> Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Everything is about Torn the sauna. Torn here somewhere. Need to find them. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. <laughs> Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Of course Tor is carrying a uh, hammer around. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. <laughs> That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. 
Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Right. We've picked up a lot of clues. Let's organize everything we have so far so it's less of a load for us later. We still can't use these, so let's go back to Case Files and the Anderson Brothers. Okay. Tor had some kind of accident. Odin is sleeping upstairs. Maybe Odin can tell me what happened to Tor. Tor and Odin are resting and can't have guests. Rose isn't being helpful but they must be around here somewhere. Cult stashes, we picked up quite a few of these. In the Bright Falls area. <sighs> Note inside this one talked about going bigger. Wonder what they mean. Who is this note for exactly? Did the cult expect someone to break inside? Nursery rhymes, we found one of those in the Bright Falls area. By trying to protect against one danger, she exposed her child to another. All right, we've got four more to gather in the Bright Falls area. And Alex Casey lunchboxes. What's interesting is that she did say that she's been knitting a design for Rose. Mandy May has been knitting the design that I've been finding by the lunchboxes. So could Rose have been the one who left them? She mentioned she's been making these for Rose. Hmm. Cookies, who is this supposed to be for? Our fan fiction writer has an extremely active imagination. Yes, and I think she wants a boyfriend. All right, we've got four left in the Bright Falls area to gather, and that's everything we can do now. like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey, what? what's that sound? <gasps> oh dear! Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh wow! I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better <laughs> lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos <laughs> full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? <laughs> I feel like Zooming a million in. bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls blend organic coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at <laughs> Coffee World and the old dear diner, and don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. Delicious. Mm. Better love making and increased con uh, connection to animals. God, I hope those two don't go together. Wow, um, sourced locally in Puerto Rico. <laughs> These Yelmo commercials are just constant one-liners. I love it. Hello, what is this? Wake up, 
Alan Wake's crime novels have become the sensation of the nation. Join us as we flip through the pages of the man behind the books. Folks Magazine, how has your life changed since your books became so popular? Alan Wake, I have to do a lot more magazine interviews. Other than that, it's not so different. Uh, you're hilarious. I can see why you're a writer. <laughs> so what do you do to get your creative juices flowing? Writing is a very solitary journey. When I'm working, I like to be alone in a room with my manuscript. There I can wrestle with the story, get inside the heads of my characters. Sounds exhausting, and yet you find plenty of energy to party, right? Word on the street is you've been out enjoying the New York nightlife. Any favorite spots? I'd prefer if we could focus on my writing. Definitely. Although I'm sure our readers would love to know where they can find New York's hottest writer on a Saturday night. Are you working on a new book? Yes. On some level, I'm always working on the next story. Right now, I'm looking at something different. A departure from what people would expect. Something new. Be careful with that. People don't always like new. So what role does the beautiful Alice Wake play in your work? Is she your muse? Alice keeps me stable. She's an anchor, stopping the waves from carrying me too far out to sea. One White Wolf says that's Alan's prototype appearance in that picture on the right in Rose's Shrine. Girl really needs a better hobby. Yeah, because uh, these, these people do not look like Alan Wake. I was wondering if you could help me longing inter internally. We'll serve you pancakes. You were my muse all along, Rose. Naughty Alan. Yeah, I think Rose is the one writing all of those Alex Casey lunchboxes. Be my light in the darkness, Rose. Wow. Wow. Alan Wake, the bad boy of fiction. Best-selling author see, uh, sets a feisty new tone for writers. Alan Wake is an author best known for his Alex Casey books, a series of thrilling novels that reinvigorated the crime genre. But Wake isn't just known for his literary works. He's also famous among New York's most exclusive clubs as a late-night party animal. This author is redefining what it means to be a writer. Gone are the days of isolated figures hunching over typewriters in dark rooms. Wake is a man who hits the town in style, a regular at the hottest spots in the city, happy to see and be seen. The people and the paparazzi can't get enough of him. Who is this person they're describing? It's not Alan Wake, but it's not just his social calendar that makes this writer stand out from his peers. Artists are famous for their tempers, but Wake's is in a completely different orbit. Damaging property, giving photographers black eyes, avoiding lawsuits. This writer is a train full of rage and you better get off the tracks. Like a punk rocker, Wake is grabbing musty old stereotypes and smashing them to pieces. This is one rebel to keep an eye out for. Where is Alan Wake? Mystery writer mysteriously disappears. The best-selling author known for his Alex Casey novels has been reported missing in the town of Bright Falls, Washington. Mr. Wake's wife, Alice Wake, has not given any comments on the case, but is confirmed to have been the one to report her husband's disappearance to the authorities. The mysterious surrounding, or the mysteries surrounding the novelist's disappearance don't stop there. Other individuals from the town were reported missing within a similar time frame. It is unclear whether these disappearances are connected. Wake's literary agent, Barry Wheeler, has indicated he has no information to provide, despite having been seen with Mr. Wake in Bright Falls just before the author's disappearance. The writer Alan Wake has a history of violence towards the press and is rumored to have struggled with addiction. The story will be updated as it unfolds. It's a, it's a straight up Alan Wake shrine.
more of those kids' lunchboxes. You are strong. You are successful. You are confident. And we got manuscript pages. That's enough to get us our next upgrade for the crossbow. One White Wolf says, remember, Alan has been known to sucker punch people who really annoy him like Dr. Hartman. That temper is a tad true. That's true. He did sucker punch Dr. Hartman. All right, let's get pull the string, hold the fire button to draw the crossbow f further for increased damage and a straighter arc. Saga strained to pull the string of the crossbow back as far as she could. To her surprise, the latch adjusted to accommodate her. The next bolt would stop a monster. Map. All right. Wow, this is uh, an elaborate nursing home. Point of interest in there. Container. All right, let's get it all. The point of interest is what we just read. gods of Asgard. So Odin and Thor had abandoned everything. When they were young. So the uh, rockers whom we met in Alan Wake's fevered nightmare were younger versions of Thor and Odin. The Valhalla Nursing Home was established in 2014 by the Old Gods Foundation. Originally built in 1965, that's why it looked older, by an unknown architect for the Finnish filmmaker Thomas Zane, this manor is steeped in artistic history. I met Odin and Tor Anderson in 2012 in a strange trip that resulted in a strange new friendship. I was honored to manage their band as they made their comeback, touring the country and producing revolutionary new music. However, all good things must come to an end. Valhalla is a place of rest. In that spirit, I hope this building will serve as a place where people can spend their golden years in peace and comfort. May it be a home to those who need one. Welcome to Valhalla. Barry Wheeler. I just want to see Barry again. I miss him. <laughs> Right, well, Tor and Odin are upstairs. We'll tackle that last. Let's talk with more people. Ati, this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> Uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box, holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. Oh, you lad, I know. Hello there, Saga Anderson. Hey, Pazine. Name won't make the band worse. <laughs> Even a Swedish name. I'm a... Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only Prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard. My pals. Merkele Vikings. Merkele. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. 
Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in the band? Minäkö? No, no. Erkele saatana, en ollut en. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared the stage or two. That's how you reshape destiny. Interesting. The poet Russian is not caught for you and her is not an honor. When there was no answer, he was a he wasn't in the band, but he did share a stage or two. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's not buying It's useless. I need to stop the story. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <laughs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. All right, so we've got a locked door that leads out to the garden, and here's another one. Sorry, huh. Saga. That area is for staff only. Oh, right, right. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. One White Wolf says, funny he said semen, as in the FBC he was classified as a Finnish god of water. And even a semen cannot know everything. I'd rather stick this knitting needle in my ear. Ah, uh, that's true. That's a great point. The semen thing did stand out. this afternoon. But you're always calling him a crazy fit. I respect the art, Norman. Okay, I think that's it for down here. I can't go in there, can't go out there. Is there anything I missed on this floor before I move on? Let's check the map. We've got two locked doors and the point of interest, which we got. So that door leads to the wellness center and a basement. Okay, let's go to the second floor. Even Vikings need their rest. God, it's either too dark or too bright. Rock around the rocking chair for the twilight years. And I'm out of room. Finally, I'm getting enough loot that I'm out of room. I'm gonna, I need to find a closet or something. Recreation room. Inventory full. They're all so soft and sad. <laughs> she pets every moose, well, deer that she can find. Oh, here we go. Great, where's my shoebox? There it is. Let's store some stuff. I've got a lot of flares. Taking up a lot of room. 
Increases damage dealt while undetected by enemies. We'll put that over there. Increases max amount of health restored in safe havens. Why are these here? Didn't I store those? Or are those all new? I've got four bolts left. And then the rest is ammo. And batteries. It's all stuff I need. More flares. Museum and Hall of Fame. I don't have the key. That's locked? I can't go in the museum? Pat. The Pat Ma Radio Show. Oh, really? For Axis navies and who knows what else. I shouldn't interrupt him. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. <laughs> Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> so, the teens would drink there. Do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home. But the bunker has a tendency to flood. Especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesburgh, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. The authorities, they, they searched the bunker and and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. <laughs> Folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Oh, dear God. Nowadays, t teens think the bunker is haunted. That doesn't stop them from going there. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist. I have lived here at the Valhalla Nursing Home for five years, and in that time I have never heard Norris sing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable <laughs> love for Finnish tango. <laughs> oh, Adi, driving everyone insane. I can't talk to him. All right. I didn't realize that he was doing his show from the nursing home. <clears throat> but I suppose that makes perfect sense. All right, let's see what else we can find on floor two before heading up to floor three. This is Tor. This is Tor's room. Oh, man. Tor, what did you do? Oh, he cr smashed in his drums. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. All right, we got a new clue. Let's add it while it's still fresh in our memory here. Ooh, we got another lunchbox. That's right. Uh, found at the Bright Halls. Bright Falls Nursing Home. 
What are these? Affirmations? Is Tor okay? Tor's room is empty, and the place looks trashed. Maybe Odin can tell me what happened. Gonna. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. I mean, it was pretty rude of you, Saga. This is somebody's room. This is their home. You don't just go rifling through their stuff, Breakfast Saga. is at seven. Tomorrow will be eggs, toast, grapefruit, orange juice, tea, coffee. Service stops at nine. Lunch at eleven. Tomorrow is borscht with oyster crackers. The other choice is stewed beef. I will have borscht. Cranberry juice or water is served as well. Uh, service stops at 12.30. Oh, dear God. I, I'm going to be here someday. I realize that. You know, I, I, will, I will be that age. I will probably need assistance. And yet, I just don't know. If I can ever get to the point where all I'm looking forward to is... Tea what's... time at 2.30. A coffee is also served. A cookie tray is available. Maximum of two per resident. If it's somebody's birthday, then cake is served instead of cookies. There is no birthday tomorrow. So, cookies. Tea time ends at 3.30. Oh... Don't think about it. That's years away. Years away. Okay. Ooh, we got a, a gross little spill there. Odin! Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Why did he throw darts at Tor? It's a photograph. The Anderson Farm, 1989. That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? A painting, though. Hmm. A painting, though. Even in 1989, having family... Uh, having family paintings done is a bit old-fashioned. Even back then, photography was the primary mode of having a family portrait. I had a painting of Mom and I with Odin and Tor in Odin's room. This looks exactly like Mom, and that's me. Is this still part of the story? No name says Oxhorn will be so excited about that cookie tray. I mean, I do like cookies, but I also like cake. I'd be excited for cake or cookies, really. I love how he's got a raven. Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Anderson? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. But he wants to. He tried to say Saga. Hangover. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga, dearest. And you're back just in time. 
The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. <laughs> Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? Oh no! I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. It was referring to the poet. Okay. We don't have anything here. But we do on the Anderson brothers. Lots of stuff. Let's see. Uh, is Tor okay? What do Tor and Odin know about the clicker? The clicker needs to be used with Wake's writing. Does it really have the power to fix this? The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. The clicker amplifies Wake's writing. Has power to fix this or make it worse? This is why Wake needs the clicker. Can he be trusted with the power to change reality? Can anyone? 
Is Tor okay? Hmm. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Something's wrong with Tor. Told Odin I'd check it out. Wellness center? Tor wasn't in his room, but it sounds like I should check out the wellness center. Who's involved? Torin Odin Anderson. Not cult members. They rejected requests to join the cult of the tree. And yet we still have two more that we need to find there. Okay, got to get into the wellness center. The Sea of Night. To drink from the cup of the wise one, for wisdom to be a seer, I gave up my eye in the light of the moon to shine the sea, the many worlds to madness and beyond, across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree. I gave up my eye so many times. We've lived and died and been reborn. We've met here before and we'll keep on meeting still. Where did I put the eye? Before time, I gave it to Mimir to drink from the Well of Wisdom, the Cauldron. 1976, I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. 1988, he who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again to be writ again. Not making any sense of that. One White Wolf says, go to the third floor. And try to open a special door. All right. Think I can do that. Uh. The light bulb had blown. Meant to replace it days ago. He told me to be wary of Cynthia Weaver. And there she is. Cynthia? This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> this will put a smile on your face, my dear. Alright, so we still can't get into the museum. I don't have the key. So we go to the third floor. Well, there's all of her knit work on display. They're like knitted dream catchers. Like protective talismans. She placed them over the fireplace. A point of entry. They placed, she placed them around her bed to protect her while she sleeps. And on the bulletin board. And on the, the dresser. Why the bulletin board and dresser? Well, let's see. This is Ati's room. Locked. Hmm, 306. Getting in is forbidden for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait, but in the end, stand to thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. <laughs> Just sneak it up on me, Adi. Uh, hey. I kind of want in that room, Adi. You want to let me in there, maybe? Oh, yeah. Guess we'll go this way. 
Gail. Need the key. Ridiculous through the, or I'm sorry, Riddles Through the Ages by Shabnam Dabiri. Over 200 teasers, tickles, and twisters. Note to self, hide the thing with a nice with little riddle like this. Better than any actual lock. Hide the thing? To get to the otter side by Reese Watts. 250 otter this world puns to help your conversations go swimmingly. Okay. Hide the thing. What thing is that? Cynthia. Need to find the key. Right. Well, looks like I need to go to the wellness center. Adi, you don't uh, want to let me in your room, maybe? No. Okay, to the wellness center then. <laughs> that was dramatic. Saga. Just use the door handle next time. All right, there's the wellness center. That's likely where Tor is being kept. Hello, what's this? Another page to the manuscript? Saga at the nursing home. Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone, but Wake was gone in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. Right, well, we can't get to the gazebo because that's in the locked garden. We're going to have to find a key or a way to unlock those doors. Um, several doors inside the nursing home that we can't get to either for the same reason. That's the trail we came up from the woods, which leaves the wellness center. The only place we can left go, we can still go. Hey, what's this? Setter for mayor. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Meet Mayor Setter in Swami Hall in Watery. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Before we go inside, let's uh, explore the grounds. See if there's anything hiding over here. Another lunchbox, maybe. Looks like a path back down into the woods. Can we hop down there? No, we can't. Okay, into the house.
Okay, the front door is inaccessible. But there's a back door in the nursing home that leads to another side door here in the wellness center. But we couldn't get through there because it was being guarded by... What's her name? Let's see if there's anything on the map we've missed. Looks like there's a conversation with new choices in the dining room on the first floor, which we missed. That's probably what we need to gain access to the wellness center. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Why was she trying to keep me out? Was she trying to protect me? Watch out for puddles. Oh. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, <laughs> thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. <laughs> she is. Hey, all right. The light changed yet again. All right. So we're in the backyard. This gives us access to the gazebo. Or not. Look at this. Crap. Need to get the bolt cutters again. Okay. Guess we're going to the wellness center. Okay, so we've got a locked door immediately to the left. Bolt cutters, that's outside. A computer. I'm feeling there's gonna be a lot of baddies in here. Nope. Dark. Empty. Be ready, Saga. puddles <sighs> patient room Tor is bewitched. A manuscript page. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. 
Victor wanted this. She wanted the song, a gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him, drowned beneath dark water. Saga. Why did Cynthia want a song? What power does she think Tor has in a song? Why would she need to give that to Scratch? He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Tor was here. Doc, Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked out on floor by phone. Burns on hand and cut on head. Was out cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP VB. Odin said Tor needs help, but from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Nope, Alan said in the manuscript that he could never be Taken, but he could drown in the darkness. And that unlocked a lot of options. Is Tor becoming Taken? No. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. Not Taken. Dark Presence manipulating him? Destroying him? Doesn't sound like he's becoming a Taken, more like he's being manipulated somehow. Hmm. Tor been acting strangely, violently. If Tor was brought here to rest, he didn't stay long. Nope. Why remove a bandage when you're still bleeding? One White Wolf says, like the old god song in the jukebox said, find the lady of their light gone mad with the night. That's how you'll reshape destiny. Poor Cynthia. <clears throat> old guards eventually drop their swords. Or lanterns. Thank you for that one, One White Wolf. All right, so we've got an examination room immediately here to the right. And a dispensary. Right before us is rehabilitation, and this is crossed off over here. Why is that? Is it because we can't get in through here? Must be locked from the other side. But there's a caution sign on the ground. That hallway is blocked from the other side as well. All right, that leads back to the entrance where we came. Let's try examination room two. Locked. Dispensary, then rehabilitation. Hey, same spot. All right. I've got two slots left. Rifle ammo. When did I get a rifle? Shotgun ammo. Handgun ammo. I don't have a rifle. Do I? I don't. 
Perhaps I'll get one later. Then I can swap out the crossbow, which I don't need. The disp uh, to rehabilitation. Tor? Hold on. Tor, wait! It's me! Deduction available. Tor left through the cafeteria door. Tor left the wellness center. Is that the deduction? All right, let's explore this room first. And we'll go after Tor. Got sick of the jump scares. She's like, ah, oh, come on already. Enough of the stupid jump scares. <laughs> the door is locked electronically. Maybe it's controlled remotely. Need to find the controls. Okay, let's see. He went through the cafeteria door, so that was the wrong one. This leads back out to the hallway with a locked door on that side and something blocked to the right. Maintenance in progress. All right, can we open this from this side? We can. Giving me lots of uh, heal spots, which is nice. Ah, uh, rifle. Yeah, let's get the hunting rifle. Thunder and lightning. Tours outside. Of course, I don't have any rifle ammo because I just stored it. <sighs> this door needs a knob. No! A security computer. May 5th, full moon. May 12th, third quarter. May 19th, new moon. May 27th, first quarter. June 3rd, full moon. June 10th, third. Okay, so this is for a puzzle. Let's find the puzzle before we start working on the key. Uh, August 15th. Hurrah! My acceptance letter has arrived. I am one of the gang now. Do Svindiania? to the boring old Vlad, or Dos Vidania to the boring old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about town, Vlad. I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate. 
this month, everything will change. August 16th. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. Vladimir Blum. You have been accepted to the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon as tradition. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. The Cult of the Tree welcomes you, Yako and Emil Koskela. All right, so Vladimir joined the day after the next new moon, as is tradition. And he got his, he wrote his diary on August 15th, the day after the next new moon. So the, ne the new moon in August was on the 16th, so he was inducted on the 17th of August. Needs a password and a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. So would it be 0817? Do they do it backwards? Oh wait, that's no, twenty. It's not twenty seventeen. It's the seventeenth of August, so oh eight seventeen. Maybe it's one seven. But then there's two. There's two extra digits there. Maybe it's not for that. It'll take place after the next new moon, as is tradition. His acceptance letter arrived on the 15th. The new moon was on the 16th, which means he was inducted on the 17th. So according to this numbering, it should be 1708. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad, not good for my hangover. Well, that was the next day. That was on the new moon. But we're not getting enough digits for the code. So that code must not be for the security computer. Day, month, year. Oh, am I not putting in the year? Yeah, I forgot the year. That's what it is. Unlocked door. And the doors are open. Okay. Oh, shotgun. All right. Oh, doorknob, right. Ah. <clears throat> I missed a container in the office. I 
Mystic container in the examination room. And that leads to the dining hall. Enjoy a fall. How? Oh, because it takes up two slots. Uh, crap. I could use that. One white wolf says, uh, that computer said Marshall security system, control and beyond. In control, Marshall was the head of the operations sector. Jesse had to put down in the foundation DLC. That's true. Marshall was the name of the director before Jesse Faden. Huh. I wonder if the two are connected or if it's just a Easter egg. Lighten our load a little bit. I don't have the rifle yet. I need to find a doorknob. One white wolf says false. <laughs> Zach Trench was the previous FBC director. You're right. That does make sense. I remember now. And who was Marshall? The head of operations. Oh. Trench. Shit! What's going on? Did I get it? Poor old person did we just destroy <laughs> trying to get into here. And how are we going to explain that? Yeah, sorry. Killed one of your residents, but it's okay. He was possessed. 
Uh, just trust me. I know he doesn't look that way, but he, he really was. He was possessed. I need to catch up with Tor. Lost and found. Mittens homemade, a notebook full of daily meal plans, a nice fountain pen, an antique hair clip, very pretty. Address inquiries to your friend Rose. I found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria. Rose, I think you left some behind again. <laughs> Rose just leaving hunting rifle ammunition about. You really should be more careful. Take a tip from Vlad, a fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it from me whenever you can. I bought that tea you said you liked. I can make a cup if you want. VB. I just want a doorknob. Give me a doorknob. Ooh. This must have been Tor's. Here's this hammer. Enough of that, Cynthia. <laughs> then all the cutlery just flies around. Was that Tor cackling? Was that Rose calling his name? Come back! Tor, don't go! Tor Anderson, you come out of here this minute! That water is bad for you! Tor, wait! <laughs> Cynthia Weaver! You. This kind of behavior is not okay! Let him go! Tor! Damn. Did he just vanish? Oh, damn indeed. Oh. Rescue Tor from the overlap. Okay, I'll, let me get my bearings. Uh, there's Cynthia. There's the gazebo. Where'd we come from? Did we come... We must have come out of here. So that's where the overlap is. It's in the water outside the retirement home. Still can't get through there. Hello. Oh, what? Okay, maybe we should talk to Rose first. Actually, maybe we should go to the gazebo first. Hiking or climbing prohibited in this area. This property is designated as a dangerous area. It shall be unlawful to trespass.
Odin loses an eye. It's 1988. A face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Crap. <laughs> he made a deal with the Dark Presence? Whoops. Deals with the devil never pan out. All right, let's talk to Rose and then either go into the overlap or go into the basement. Both not very pleasant ideas. Wait, there's another one over there. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Saga? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Profiling. Rose's lies. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. <laughs> I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia Weaver. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? One White Wolf says, I loved how Odin was mad. Not that he lost an eye, but mad that he lost his right eye. So Odin cosplay was screwed up. <laughs> also, they made a deal with someone else to fight the Dark Presence. Thomas? Tom Zane? Because Alan wasn't in there in the 80s. All right. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. <gasps> oh. My. God. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and... I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. <laughs> <laughs> She's so creepy weird. Thank you. 
Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Saga jabbed the Selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken, sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. <clears throat> Talk to Odin. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. It's because you took her lamp. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. <laughs> and what does he say to you with these clouds? Okay. Ways I can help him? How I can stay safe? Good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately too, so he must be working on a new book. Exciting. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives, very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Mm. Guilty. They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. The tough part is hiding the bodies. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to react to this. <laughs> Just doing my part, sister. She's so cheerful. Oh, and creepy. Oh, okay. Well, we've, uh, we can solve a case here, I think, on the Alex Casey lunchboxes. As we finally found who's been putting them together. Don't need to go over all this again. Right, I, I, I solved all of this. Cafeteria door. The computer must unlock the door. If I can figure out the password, maybe it's controlled remotely. Computer password. So there's one thing that I missed there. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Tor followed Cynthia because Cynthia was confusing him, messing with his head. 
Why is Cynthia going to such trouble to get Tor out of the picture? I need to play a record to open the overlap. Another ritual. I should talk to Odin. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Rose. Hmm. Not a cult member. Initiation letter signed by Ilmo and Yako. Yako and Il Ilmo were running the cult. Addressed to Vladimir Bloom. Confirmed cult member. The letter looks new. Seems like he was recruited recently. <laughs> Rose Marigold left these lunchboxes for me. Alan Wake apparently told her to. I guess I owe her one. So it was Rose who left the lunchboxes. Guessing it's fine that I've been looting them, seeing as I'm the quote-unquote hero. All right, that leaves uh, one more lunchbox in Cauldron Lake and three more lunchboxes in the Bright Falls area. All right, I uh, need to head on out, but before I do... Let's see what's in this basement. Come on, it's right there. It's pushed up against the side of the box. There we go. Doesn't budge. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. VB. Berries struggle with artists. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic, depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Okay, I'm going to do a manual save here. 
because I am now out of time. Thanks, everybody, for joining me for today's broadcast of Alan Wake 2. The plot thickens with each and every episode, and I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. I hope you guys are as well. Tomorrow is Tuesday. That means it's more Starfield. We have a lot of planets to explore and moons to catalog. Uh, so look forward to that. And then Wednesday, we've got Baldur's Gate 3 with... Thursday being Scotch and Smoke Rings, and we're continuing with RoboCop, which has been a whole lot of fun. That's the plan for the rest of the week. Hope you will all join me. Thanks for joining me today. No Name says, do you think Rose has a full-sized Alan Wake body pillow? I wouldn't put it past her. I wouldn't be surprised. Sounds like something exactly that she would do. Anyway, thanks everybody for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.